Oh, help us! We're trapped in the ca cannibal's camp. Oh, if only there was some way to get out. Oh, wait, but there is. Hey, everybody, it's Colorful Artie, and welcome back to the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. So, we're kind of in the heart of Monkey Island now, trapped in the cannibal's camp. There is a memo here. Let's look at it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck, we must protest your acquisition of our voodoo anti root We realize that it presents a hazard to you and your crew, but this is thievery. The Monkey Island Cannibals. The cannibals seem like decent people, though, so, I mean, not super worried about it. I think that's how I'll end up if I don't get out of here soon. No thanks. They've still got some meat on them. Yeah. Oh, it's two frots banana picker. Can we pick it up? We can! Oh, man, it's huge, but we can pick it up. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Oh man. What a cute little skull. I don't think hanging myself is the answer. I wasn't suggesting you do that. Oh, can we walk up? We can't up? get through it. Aw, oh, man. That's no good. Can we pick up the skull? We can. Yeah, oh. Loose board. Ha-ha! Yeah, I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. Oh, really? But the banana picker's in your pocket. Okay, so we can't take the banana picker with us. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals, for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. <laughs> I love that. Do I still have the bananas in my inventory? Please tell me I do. I do. Excellent. All right. And in that case, let's get out of here. All right. Eh. Come on, guy brush, pick it up. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else actually on the map that's worth going to, though. At least that's noteworthy on this side of the island. Nope. We're going back to our rowboat. Come on, Guybrush. Come on, hurry up. Appears double clicking sometimes makes him go fast, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know what determines that. You can go faster than that guy, Rush. I know you can. I have seen you go faster. Seriously, guy, Rush, come on. There we go. There we go. Atta boy. Oh, hey, it's a bottle. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot, from Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law, <laughs> regarding suit against Cannibal Tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. <laughs> I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like legalese. <laughs> I don't think I can translate the rest. Oh well. <laughs> that was worth finding. Let's see if we have enough bananas for the monkey now. Eh. Monkey, I've got some bananas for you. That I got completely legitimately. And not through thievery. Are you gonna follow me now? For realsies? It appears he's following me for realsies! 
Yay! Let's take him to the giant monkey head. I think he'd like that. Hey, little monkey. I'm going to name you Timmy. Hey, would you pull on this nose with me? Yay! Thank you. Oh my gosh, the monkey head is so creepy. It's a wimpy little idol. What a cheap piece of mass-produced tourist crap. On the bottom it says, made by Lemonhead. <laughs> well, I need that. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. It looks like a sacred idol of some kind. It looks like a sacred idol of some kind. Definitely the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Nice. Well, if we had the key, we could enter it, but unfortunately, Toothrot isn't giving it to us. We gotta get his banana picker back. Thank you, monkey. You have been incredibly helpful. Well, I mean, the cannibals offered this, that to the sacred monkey head in the first place, so... I don't see why they wouldn't accept it a second time. I think we have our bargaining chip. When Guybrush has a place he actually wants to go, he's just like he puts his backs into it. He put his he puts his back into it. Like seriously, look how fast he's paddling that boat. It's ridiculous. Ridiculously awesome. Alright, Guybrush, back to the cannibal village. I have come back once again. Let's open the door. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. And you can't move it? Alright. Great. Uh oh. Ah, the banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is <laughs> in one of these things? <laughs> now then. How did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and stringy. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Okay, um... I can give you some money? Huh? Your currency means nothing to the great monkey. Oh man, I've got the minutes for the last PTA. Do you PTA have meeting. anything of a more spiritual value? I've got a t-shirt. We appreciate the natural fibers, but no <laughs> thanks. Obviously, you have nothing for us. Oh, but I, I was about to give you my staple remover. That should do it. <laughs> okay. It's a bit, bit more locked now than it was last time. Boo, 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 boo. Guy for Shreepwood, Mighty Pirates, back again. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Oh, I can't. I want to take the banana picker out of there, but I can't. Oh, great. Well, well, well. You're quite the escape artist, aren't you? <laughs> I told you we should eat him. <laughs> Don't eat me. I'm a mighty pirate. No, I was going to say yeah, something else. Yeah, we know. <laughs> We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Alright, I've got this nifty staple remover. Do you have anything of a more spiritual value? I've got a ransom note. Now, what would the Great Monkey do with that? I've got a compass. We've already got one of those. Got some travel brochures. I don't think the Great Monkey would like that. Is that you, Stan? You sound like Stan. Obviously, you have nothing for us. Aww. That should do it. <laughs> that seems a bit excessive. <laughs> do, do, do. Gabbers Freepwood coming back once again to barter with the cannibals. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. I just can't open that locked door. 
How you get out is almost as much of a mystery as why you keep coming back. <laughs> the real mystery is why he's not simmering with carrots right now. Oh, go ahead and eat me. See if I care. Hey, whatever you say. Oh. That should do it. <laughs> Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> I love it. That is like one of the best jokes in the entire game, I think. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. No, really? I don't know if this is getting boring for you, but it sure is for me. That's what my viewers are saying. Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Alright, what you need to do is give them the idol back. Ooh, or the skull. Sorry, we already have plenty of those. Alright, let's try the idol. Hey. Wow. This is impressive. Lemonhead! Take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead. Just <laughs> like one of mine. <laughs> we should take this to the Great Monkey. <laughs> yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. <laughs> if there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. They're so nice. Like, they didn't even, like, one of the guys even didn't want to eat me, which is, just kind of blows my mind. <laughs> and they open the security door for us. So now we can take this banana picker and walk out with it. <laughs> this game seems to be teaching you that dishonesty is the best All way out. All I want is my banana picker back. But will they give it to me? He's babbling to himself. <laughs> oh, hi! I was just looking for the natives to get them to return my banana picker. You're quite brave coming I here. I seem to find him. They're probably at the great monkey head. I have your banana picker. Hey, thanks! I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. Or I could hold and on to it. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. This <laughs> is a way to be subtle, guy, Brush. Yes, me too. <laughs> Alright, Toofrot, you you go have some fun, and I will be going to the Sacred Monkey Head now. Sweet! We're almost done with Chapter 3 now. We're actually almost done with the game now. Do -do 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 Come on, just go down, Guybrush. What's taking you so long? I like how they conveniently have a lot of beaches, so you can park your boat pretty much anywhere. Alright, let's go back to the clearing. Mr. Monkey's waiting for us. He's still hanging from here, just to let us through. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Walk to the gigantic monkey head. It looks like a giant cotton swab. Alright, well let's use that on the monkey head. There's no place to stick it in. The second largest ear I've ever seen. <laughs> and also the dirtiest. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I know where I'm using the cotton swab. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Oh my gosh, it's like a... It's like a skeleton. It's amazing. I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms. <laughs> well, welcome to the bowels of Monkey Island, where it basically is hell. And thankfully, Guybrush is like, lava? What lava? 
As long as I'm not touching it, I'll be fine. Which it's like, that's not how that works in real life. Okay. Creepy heads here. Gross. <laughs> There's a heart. Oh my gosh. This place gives me the willies. Yuck. No. Creepy. I can't reach it. Yeah, this place is a maze. Oh, wow. Okay, and now I can't even get across. And this place is just changing all the time, isn't it? Hellish. Yeesh. Sickening. Gross. I have no idea how to get through this cave. I'm just trying stuff. Yeah. Disgusting. Ooh, how nauseating. Yeah, I don't know what, what to do here. Yeah. Well, hang on a second. Do we still have the treasure map? It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. It's yeah. called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. I want to go down, please. Except for some reason you have to click way far below the arrow to go up and down. Collision detection on that is not good. Well, great. I don't even have the map to the treasure melee island, so I can't even take those directions. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can see... That whole place is a maze, and we have no way to navigate it, so clearly there's something else we gotta do. We're going back to the village to see if the natives have anything to say about that. And we'll, we'll pray that they're not like, How dare you enter the sacred monkey head without permission? I'm definitely Stan. That guy, the, seriously, the guy with the red mask is definitely Stan. And the guy with the gray mask is definitely one of uh, the guys with the pirate with the rat. They're very intelligent creatures. I just... Let's hope the natives actually appear in the village. Yeah, there they are. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Can you create a cruise ship? Money. I want money. I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. <laughs> That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't civilized. Whoops. I came to the wrong island. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and one woman. Whoops. Well, I guess I came to the wrong island. Excuse me. Wait, maybe he's talking about those dead pirates. Oh, yeah. Those guys. <laughs> then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? The cadaverous, that's a great adjective. Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs. Wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. <laughs> so why don't you do that now? What's in the standard potion of exorcism? Give me the potion, I'll use it on a chuck. So why don't you do that now? These are good options. Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. <laughs> the Chuck came in here and stole your root? What a cat. <laughs> and I suppose stealing bananas is any better. <laughs> Where is he hiding it? <laughs> He's in a place beneath this island. 
somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Health department shut you down? <laughs> no, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. I'm off to find the chuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find the chuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without them. Hey, Ixnay on the Edhay of the Avigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, why are you guys talking in pig Latin? Ude uye avhe a apme of a the catacombs k? Ari say, oh no. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Ew. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. Oh, After man. he gave us that nice idol tool. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. <laughs> so, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? <laughs> well... Oh, come on, I need I it! they're having a serious discussion. I need the navigator head. I can't see inside from here. But I'll bet it's empty. <laughs> the friendly natives. I think they're having a serious discussion. Let's go into the hut. Boy, this is the emptiest hut I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, Guybrush. Navigator head's not in there, is it? And to think, I almost ended up like that. I think they're having a serious discussion. <clears throat> Excuse us, but we're in the middle of a serious discussion. <laughs> I, I know. No, but I really need that navigator head thing. I told you, we only have one. We don't know how to get another one. Sorry. Um... Alright, I've got a compass? Ah, one of those newfangled magnetic compasses. Mm, too high-tech. Yeah, give me a good old-fashioned disembodied head any day. <laughs> I don't want one that points to stab. Um... We couldn't take that. You've already given us so much. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigator. That's the one. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. Oh, ho, ho. we could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes! Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Oh, ho, ho. they're going to hate Thanks. me. Ew. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? <laughs> we keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. That's creepy as oh, all get out. Look! I think he likes you. <laughs> Just follow his nose and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. Sounds like a plan! And you can pour it on the chuck like salt on a slug. Yeah! Yeah. Good luck! Alright! That was great. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Secret of Monkey Island. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Cover Already. Tune in next time. The next episode might be the last one because we don't have much of the game left to do. So. This has been an awesome Let's Play series to do. I hope you look forward to that. And until then, have a great day and God bless.